Hello dear students, ISC 2023 English Paper 2 Answer Key, Section A, 20 Marks. And in this video, I'm going to share with you something very, very important. So stay tuned and listen carefully. MCQs first. In the mask, in Act 4 of the play The Tempest, how does Ceres know that Juno is coming? Option A is the right answer by Juno's Gate. What does Ceres say to bless the young couple that their barns will never be empty? Option A once again. And then in Act 5, scene 1 of the play The Tempest, Alonso says, Irreparable is the loss. What is the irreparable loss being referred to here? It's the loss of his son, Ferdinand. Option D. What does Prospero intend to do with his book before his interaction with Alonso in Act 5 of the play, The Tempest? Yes, option C, drown it deeper than plummets sound. Where did B. Wordsworth live in the short story B. Wordsworth, Alberto Street? Option B is the right answer. They have not asked you about the boy's address, but... B. Wordsworth lived at Alberto Street. In the short story, To Build a Fire, which wild idea came into the man's head when all seemed lost? To kill the dog and crawl into its carcass for warmth. B. Next one in the short story, the story of an hour. What, according to the doctor, did Mrs. Malar die of? Joy that kills is the right answer. Next. In the poem Dover Beach, where is the eternal note of sadness heard? The right answer here is option D, the grating roar of the pebbles flung by the waves. In the poem Birches, how are the crystal shells shed by the sun's warmth? In the poem We are the music makers. What are the sea breakers? Large waves. Option D is the right answer. And now... The most important piece of information, question 2, complete the following sentences by providing a reason for each. Now, sentence 1, <coughs> excuse me, in Act 3, Scene 2 of the play, The Tempest, Stefano and Trinculo are angry with Caliban as they struggle out of the filthy pool because, now my dear students, have you noticed anything? Did we have any such episode in Act 3, Scene 2 of the play The Tempest, the filthy pool episode? Well, this is my personal opinion. Read the text and if you read the text, you will find that there is no such episode in Act 3, Scene 2. So with due respect to each and every one, I'm sharing my personal opinion that perhaps this is a printing mistake and I'm sure that the council will take into consideration this fact. In Act 3, Scene 2, well, if I leave this section of the question out, I will tell you the answer, leaving the first part of the question aside. Stefano and Trinculo are angry with Caliban as they struggle out of the filthy pool because... Because they are all wet and Caliban assured them that the fairy was a harmless fairy but it turned out to be a rogue. So it's there in Act 4, Scene 1. So you may check Act 4, Scene 1. So there is a little bit of confusion in this question. The other questions are perfectly alright. So I wanted to bring this to your notice. In Act 5 of the play The Tempest, Prospero greets Gonzalo first because, because Prospero gratefully tells that he is old and venerable and whose honor is without any measure. Gonzalo is old and venerable and Prospero is grateful to Gonzalo. Next one. At the end of Act 3, Scene 3 of the play The Tempest, Gonzalo urges the other lords to follow the three men of sin because they are in a desperate mood. You must mention the word desperate and steps must be taken to prevent them from doing anything which the disturbance of their minds may urge them to do. 
So I'm sure you have written these points. And those of you who followed my videos, my Give Reasons series, I'm sure you have got all these sentences common, leaving the first one. Act 4. In Act 3, Scene 2, here this is correct. Act 3, Scene 2, Stefano threatens to tie Trinculo to the tree because... He is not behaving respectfully and is mocking at Caliban. In the short story, The Sound Machine, Dr. Scott thought Klausner was ill when Klausner rang up the doctor because he called suddenly so early in the morning and the doctor heard a frantic, almost hysterical note in his voice. Towards the end of the story, B. Wordsworth, the poet told the boy to never visit him because perhaps... He wanted to de-link the boy from the memory of B. Wordsworth after his death. Perhaps this was a conscious effort made by B. Wordsworth to erase his memory from the boy's mind. In the short story, To Build a Fire, the fire built by the man under the tree was extinguished because of his own mistake when a load of snow from the spruce tree capsized and descended without warning upon the fire. In the poem, The Darkling Thrush, the poet thinks the bird had some awareness, which the poet did not because the thrush was singing with all his soul in the growing gloom while he was dejected or frustrated or sad or gloomy, anything in your own words. In the poem, Dover Beach, the poet wants his beloved to be true to him because love is the only anchorage in the world which was characterized by loss of faith in religion, chaos, purposelessness and doubt. During the Victorian age, I had discussed everything in my videos. Towards the end of the poem, Birches, the poet express, expresses sorry, a wish to return to earth because he knows that earth is the right place for love and there is no better place. So, this is my take on yesterday's English literature question paper.